can you tell us the name of this drug that you said you tried and your friend told you not to try? Yoruba people call it Shali. But they call it um, white or potential. Expensive shit. How I wish the drug is like that. I, I would never, I would even test it. I regret I test the drug. Okay. Yes. Okay, but I thank God now that I'm, I'm not into it again, but I'm just suffering of some. Yes, yeah. yeah, because I need to take some drugs for me to get myself back. Welcome guys to the third episode of the fourth season of Doing's Corner. On today's episode, we're going to be discussing the reality of drug addiction. Drug addiction is something that has affected many, many lives, both directly and indirectly, either as the user or the friend or family of the user. And, you know, there are a lot of people that pass a lot of negative judgments to, you know, drug users and, oh, why do they use these things? They're irresponsible people or they're bad people. I'm sorry to bust your bubble. This, ha this can happen to anybody, regardless of how responsible you think you are. It's all as a result of bad life choices. But the aim of today's episode is to shed some light on the reality of addiction, talk about the challenges, and discuss the pathway to recovery. With us today in the studio, we have a gentleman that is here with us to discuss his personal experience on drug addiction. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Mom. Okay, so please introduce yourself. Tell us your name, your age. Yeah, anything that you can introduce. My name is Razak, and I'm 41 years old. I was born in 1983, May 28th. Mm, street is not easy. Can you tell us your street name? What name My street name is More Money. More Money. More, more money. money. Yeah, yeah. That's what everybody knows me. Even I even thought it. More money. more money. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Razak, um, please, no, how do you want me to call you today? Do you call, want me to call me more, you money, more money because most people don't know me as Razak. Razak. Yes. Okay, so more money. Um, how would you like us to... Okay, let's start like this. Okay. How did you get here, first of all? Can you tell us a little bit about the story of your life, where you're coming from, what you were doing before this street life, and just something brief. I'm with my family before years back, me and my mom, my dad... My other sister and my younger one, we are living in happy home. I do smoke cigarette then, but I don't know about drug. Well, I lost my, when I lost my older sister, her name is Vicky Hatt. She went to Ebadilaja Secondary School. I lost her four years ago, or, yeah, four years ago, after I lost her. Few years back, few months back, after eight months, I lost my dad too. So... Again, again, time goes on. My mom too. They called me that my, I lost my mom. That I should come to Ghana to come and bury that. I go there. I come back. Mm -hmm. So my friend was just like, Ah, Razak, what's wrong with you? It seems you are getting something is wrong with you. Sure, you will come to Aja and start hustling. I said, Okay, you just try to give me some time. Let me do some prayer. So I called my father. I prayed. I did Sarah. Then after that, I go to Aja. Not even up to four or five months, my friend that called me, just like a magic. I've seen up to like two point something million, my own personal money. Mm. Along the road, then Sha, uh, Lekon, Big Brother, he won again. Then MC Oluomo called, and my friend, Orisha Femi, he called me that. Uh, MC called him that we should come and pick him, that he wants to do party for Lekon, that we should just see him up. They come and pick us at Ajaye, so we drive up together. So we are together, everybody is enjoying, enjoying, enjoying. So along the road now, my friend and I just said, okay, let's go and visit someone at apartment. I said, okay, let's go. We were inside the apartment, they were just lighting and lighting. I was just like, what are they doing? I said, well, what is my own business? He said, do I used to smoke? I said, yes, I used to smoke loud cigarettes. But this one is not loud, it's white something. He said, do I know about it? I said, no. That. He said, do I want to try it? I said, ah, I, would, I would like to try it. Mm -hmm. The person that took me there, that is my own good friend. His name is Obina, but his nickname is Schoolboy. He's a very good friend of mine. Very, very, as in, God will continue to bless him. He wants me, he wants me that, my money, stop it, have you tried it? I said, no, am I a kid? 
out of point, 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 point that I have. Am I still going to come back? Just let me taste it then out. Not knowing that it's bad thing. Since ever that I've tasted that thing, I spent... Hmm. Wait, before you get into that, I'm so sorry to cut you short. Okay. First of all, you said um, you were living in Aja at some point, or you were living... Where were with you? My with my family together, family? yeah. Before and you I said lost, you had yeah. a lot of money yes. saved up. What, yes. were you, what was your job at the time? What were you working I'm at? I'm into printing press then, and I'm online too. I used to pick money for my friends, different kind of thing, legit business. I sell Ankara, Ghana, Ankara, because my mom is from Ghana. Okay. I was born in Ghana, Accra, Medina, Okay. Even my mom even has a building there up to now. I have a room there. They used to send money at times, but... I don't want to face the house there because they said if you should sell this, you should do this. But before I lost my mom, she said, Razak, Ili, don't sell it. To your your son, your sister's son, we you'll be the head of. So don't, but family are pressuring me that let's sell it, let's sell it. Also. So I just decided to leave Ghana yeah. and come back to Nigeria. Okay. So what drug, can you tell us the name of this drug that you said you tried and your friend told you not to try? Ah. Expensive shit. How I wish the drug is like that. I, I would never. I wouldn't even test it. I regret I test the drug. The very first day I want to test the drug, I look at my account like this. I still have like nine point something, maybe nine point one or nine point two. Then, and don't try. No, let me. I will, I will not come back. I didn't know my money. I'm mature enough to do what I. Not knowing that, as in. Ah, Olofa. Even the ladies there, those girls, it's just like it's not set up, but this what is what they do. They know about it more than me. Because me, I'm new, I'm new into it. Mm. They will just come and knock my apartment. They will just bring a less move. Doing different kind of things too. Ah, just like this thing is too expensive. Just more than like this. You still did not tell us the exact name of the drug that you are talking about. They used to call it Yoruba people call it Shali. Um, Adaba, mm -hmm. Charlie, but they call it um, white or it's cocaine, Sha. Cocaine? Yes. Hmm. It's cocaine, but I thank God now that I've, I'm not into it again, but I'm just suffering of some... The withdrawal. Yes, because I need to take some drugs for me to get myself back. So would you say that you started, okay, you said, you know, you went to visit some people and they were trying it and you said, ah, let me just try this thing. They asked me that, have I done it before? I said, no, that's, there's now say, would I like to taste it? I said, no, I don't mind. But the person that took me there, mm -hmm. I said, I shouldn't even try it. Not try it. That is bad thing, that, stop it. I said, no, I have my own money, where is there? She, no, for me just to try it, then once, then I'll go my own. Not knowing that that once will condemn my life. Up to now, I'm not getting myself. But you said you had about nine point something million. Yes, then, yes, nine. yes, yes. So yes. are you saying all of this money? Everything, went everything is oh, it's not even enough. Seb. Everything. How much do they sell like per I don't know how, how they take it. Is it like per sniff? I don't no, know. How, they, how, how do they sell it? They sell it half they they there is pinch, mm. there is quarter, they and there is half there is full gram. The pinch is some just like a stone like this. They will call it for you 50k. Hmm. And that's just for one use? One use. When you just light up the, this thing like, ah, they lost me that, my friend. Oh, God, my mom. I regret taking this thing. It affects me a lot. Hmm. A lot. I just, yeah, I'm a celebrity now. Me, myself, I'm a celebrity. Even my friends are even running away from me that I don't know the usefulness of money. That they will send me money, we will do transactions, we share money close to three million, four million. The following month, I will still call them again that I need money. What did I use the money for? Hmm. The first time you took this drug, how did you feel? Was it like, were you looking, first of all, what was your reason for even trying? Were you looking for some sort of escape? You know, you mentioned that you lost three family members. Yes, yes. Were you sad and you were looking for like an escape from it? Or what was the reason that really, really made you say, okay, let me even try this thing? Or what was the reason that made you say, let me continue trying this thing? Was it, were you sad? Were you mourning, you know, the people that died? Or what was it exactly? <sighs> Do you even remember? It was just like, no, you girls, you, you, you can tempt someone too much. Girls, 
ladies ah, they tempt you to the extent that they will just come they will just dress what kind of useless dressing ah, you know me i have money then i don't know how they hmm. i will just give them just go and buy. to the extent that they stood my phone they entered my password withdraw all the things as in I, I didn't know. I lose myself. I knew now, but they ran away. So what do I want to do? So I need to leave the island and come back to my land. Hmm. So any of these people that you started using this drug with, do you, are you still in contact with anyone? No, I'm not even with phone. I've, I'm not with phone. I don't even have a phone. I've deleted everybody. Now my own prayer is just that God should provide a good job for me to take care of my family. Because I've really lost a lot of things. And I pray God should help me to recover all what I've lost. Because, yeah. ah, me, I regret taking it. I swear to God, the baby. If someone should tell me that, I will go and beg for 100,000, not to talk of 50,000. I will swear for the person that in me. Okay, I'll be no matter what, more money. More valid, more legit. If I can do anything, I feel like at my own convenient time. Yeah, but the drug has taken everything. Mm -hmm. I have everything. I sold my property. Almost everything. Mm -hmm. Even my sister's son, the one that I followed, her son, he's in Taraba now, Abdul Malik. I used to send him money once in a while, but now I don't even have his time to send money or anything to him. I don't know how he's living, but I know he's living fine there because my family members are, I know, Tankwasu. They are stand very well. Mm -hmm. So your remaining family members, how have they taken this? Did you reach out to them at any point that ah, or more something is going on with? They you never knew, they didn't and know they, they knew something is happening to me, but I never contacted them. But at times, my sister would just tell uh, my brother something is wrong with him. Please contact my family member. Just, but they knew I'm taking drugs, sha. Yeah, but I've stopped it. But I just need to, I need good job and for me to get close to God, because it's not ordinary. I had the drug too. I think people are facing a lot in street too. I won't well, like We're still to going to get to the street lifestyle, but I wanted to ask, aside cocaine, mm -hmm. are there other drugs that you've tried? Because there are a lot of people that think that, oh, cocaine is the only bad drug. Oh, if, it's you, the, if it's just weed, it's fine. Or it's it's just cocaine is an expensive shit. If it's just weed, it's fine. Arizona is fine. Loud. I take loud now. Adivin is even loud that I take. I don't even... Branch the uh, I will still have more up to now. I can't smoke loud one million in a day. Why? But I can smoke in a day, even four million. What nothing will have. I'm not, I'll still be as I am. How long do you, when you sniff this thing, how long does the reaction stay? Like, do you feel it? I don't know. I've never no, taken so. Is it, is it something that once you sniff one, the old day you are high, or is it like uh, uh, you still come back when it's finished after some few minutes, 30 few minutes, few minutes after some few minutes, 30 25 minutes. It's gone. You want to look for another money. You'll be in hodge of taking it again. We're going to go on a quick break now, yeah. and then we're going to come back and still continue chatting to more money. <music> Welcome back, guys. We're still on the topic of realities of drug addiction and we're still seated with more money discussing this topic so more money before we start please know that ellie saw you about about first or you're about like you don't have mm. to speak english do you understand? understand okay so the question i want to have i want to ask you is this at what point did you realize that ah it's like this thing i'm no longer in control because a lot of people when they're using these drugs they feel like they're in control. They're in control. I ah, don't worry. I'm still good. I still have money. I still have resources. I, I'm still in control. Many people don't know when they've gotten to the point that ah, even I say I'm no mm. longer in control. Mm. At what point did you realize that this thing has taken over me? Ah. Um, it's up to like three months ago, two, three months ago, I just discovered that ah, my since I'm getting mad, people are just running away from me. Mm. I can't dress very well. If I should dress, they'll say, I look at my money. I just decided to. I was even now by the NDLA again. I was just like, he shall me bye. So since then, I was just like, I can't dress very well. People will be running away from me. Even my friends, if they should want to send me money, they will say, ah, if they should send me money, I will go and use the money for drugs. So I was just like, ah, 
This thing that is condemning my life, why am I still continuing? For the past two months now, I've not taken anything mm-hmm. like. But it's still, that if I should have any small money like 30 or 40 k because me, I am a laughing spender. I don't know. I don't know how to manage money. I can't spend. Th- I can't take 10,000 there, 20,000 there. It's expensive. So if I want to take that kind of thing, I will still have at least. We bear a lot to be 50, 80. So I thank God that I, all those money. I don't used to see them like before. So over like two months now, mm-hmm. I've been going to church, praying. But at times, if I have small change, like ten or 15,000 or 20,000, I was just like, ah, should I go on? But I will control myself that just only one light or two light, the money has gone. So let me just come. When I see that, I can't even control my own emotional feelings, my family. I can't take care of my family. It's my responsibility. Okay, you spoke about you know how expensive it is. I think what I find most baffling in Koto, checking so you're back mm, or English. Anyone, anyone. Okay, what I find most confusing about this is when people are on the streets. Am I look where when you're to walk lorry street wall low buying? So bao lo she in real wo be fifty k to my fira in koke kere to to my tuni lati rai me again that same day me me. Where do they get this money from? Like question tell you yeah. Most people don't want street there, but street lower. Background one, a man solid. But when they bury, they bury far, they cut out far. Is it that they go or to travel out to or to taste, or go there on more low? That nigga will look all the day long, like no, only on beer da, only. Because I'm so you, I'm checking most of my friends gone, cause that for me. Mm. I want to tell you street to you. Most of them, Baba Oma knew who he was. I mean, no one called the Lord to my log being called my log be jerry. See, yeah, go. I'm only jerry. I'm only before they buy me a meal. Lane came out, me a monk by nine to five, wait nine to five. Anything to buy those seven fifteen Italian. I'm into good business. I've traveled with Mutilo Gang, Mutilo Gang, Mutilo Gang, Mutilo Gang, Mutilo Gang, like my travel, Gang, like my Gang, business go. Mutilo mm-hmm. enter Mutilo But most people, Gang, Mutilo streets Mutilo yeah. most of them no. Gang, Mutilo Gang, Mutilo Gang, Mutilo Story, some people will lie that something is happening, that they need money. Mm-hmm. Some people will cook story, but this I'm telling you, it's not cook, it's reality, true story, life. That happens to me, me, to my experience. I am. I did not, did not involve myself into this thing. By now, what is 50 million or 100 million? I'm more than that. The moment I work, I will work for the money and I'm going to get it. But ever since I discovered that I'm addicted to it, if I should work any little change, 100, 200, 300 k, it's good. It's good. So what me? My salary or no? Mm-hmm. Who need to go to me? My heart to my lobby for a way again. I will text my friend, Alpha guy. I need so, so much. I just gave you money just, just now, not a few hours ago. What happened? What do you want to use money for again? Guy, I don't have money. Hmm. I want to talk about the withdrawal symptoms that you have. You know, people that try to stop, when people try to stop using drugs, there is something. Oh my God. What's that feeling like? What's the she a man feel being something will happen to me or some what's the feeling like? What's the what do you experience when you try to stay away from it? What do you experience? I'll be feeling cool. I'll just be bored. I'll be sad. I won't be happy. My friend, my be anybody. My mama call me. Mm. Even at be two months in Bansi, I don't mind. So any uh, any uh, oil gel or anything like that? You don't have the urge to take it for two no, months no, now? No, I don't. No, I don't. How, are you, how come you don't have the urge? How are you controlling the urge? I've been smoking cigarettes in Arizona and JD. I've been going back to my local smoking. Mm. My local weed, Arizona allowed. That I now will spend up to like two k every day, cause in cause move for me, you know, at worst, no, 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 four k every day. And then I'm gonna try that here. But you know. she know that is that one good? Even the Arizona or at least what, yeah, my, those, yeah, she better food? expensive shit here. Yeah. Expensive shit here yeah, with that exist. Hey, let me tell you about sorry. Come on. 
You mentioned that you are in your forties, age wise. It's like forty one. Oh, yes. Now, do you have? Are you? Have you ever been married? Or? I have a. I have a son. You have, have a son. son. Yes, yeah, I have a son. Has this affected your parenting, like uh, with your son? No, 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 no. My son is with my family. Oh, okay. He's doing good. They are taking care of him. Do you call him? Do you hear from him from mm, time to time? Not steady, but once in a while. I know my family are taking care of him. If I should call them, they will give me feedback. I don't have money for me to send to him. Mm. But I know where is he? He's in Taraba now. He's doing good. Taraba State. Tankwaso family. Mm. It's big family. Just like Polity. Just like Obasanjo family. Mm. That's how my... Your family? Yeah, there. Okay. So I wanted to touch a bit on what it is like living on the streets. Because, you know, a lot of times, yeah, a lot of people are very privileged. They don't understand what is happening on the streets. First of all, do you people... I know where we picked you from, right? But I want you to just explain what's the life like. Do you people have like a house or you just find anywhere to just sleep under the bridge? Or how does how is the sleeping arrangement? How do you pay or do you pay rent? How do you put it? You don't pay rent, you just find anywhere and hang around and sleep. You find mats or clothes or anything, shall just to find somewhere to sleep till in the morning around five, five thirty. You go and bait and find your way again. You go and bait where? Do you people have Bathrooms, you go and pay now 100 naira. There's where you pay 100 naira or 200. You pay, you pay to change, then you go start your hustling again. If you want to keep your things, there's where you go and keep it. You'll be paying to those abuki 500. Um, there's sorry, I forgot my question a little bit. Okay, I want you to just tell us the challenges people face, people on the streets. What are some of the challenges that people face while they're on the streets? Some of the terrible things. It can be harassment, it can be rape, it can be anything. Just some of the challenges. Either you are faced or some of the people that you know that are all also on ah, the street are faced. Face a lot of things though. A lot. Most especially in the night, not daytime. Can you give us some examples? Some girls they will go and sell their body for them to take shit. Hmm. And from there. You see some guys who take them, they won't come back again. Some you just hear that they've used them. For what ritual? Ritual. You, you they will come and take them today. When you see them next, you see that they are dumb. They can't even recognize you. Mm. Different kind of things like that. Have you f have you faced anything particularly based on your own experience on the streets that you say this is one experience that scared you? Ah, yes, sir. Can uh -huh. you tell us a bit about it? Yes, 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 yes. There was one night like that. If you can speak up a little bit, please. There was one night like that. I don't have money. I was just like, ah, I want to smoke. How am I going to smoke? How am I going to... I don't have them. I now carried myself from here to my brother's place. Just like a cousin. He's not around. I opened his door. I have not done that in my life before. God forgive me. Mm. Well, I stole this money, sharp, and I used this. When it comes back, I denied. And it's still baffling me up to now because the money is much. Mm. It's much. We all cash. Close to 500,000 there. Yeah. Just because you wanted to buy the Just drug? Just because I wanted to buy the drug. We all cash, 500. And the money is not even used up to 24 hours. 500,000, not up to 24, 24 hours. 24 hours, I swear to God. Not up to 24 hours. It's just like a stone like this. Just not in, Not up to 24 hours. Not up to 24 hours. 24 hours. Wow. I call girls, two girls, lodge. Let's go and flex. Go on. So right now, you say you've been clean for like two months. Yes, now. for like two months. I've not been smoking, but I've been smoking cigarettes, Arizona, but... The See the cocaine ah, itself, you have not taken it. I'm not taking it. But at times, I will, my body will shake me that ah, I want to feel. I feel like to smoke, but I will just hold it. let me hold it. Oh, if I just go and smoke all these things that they call Colorado, like if I just smoke, I can sleep throughout the whole day. I will just forget about the. But even Colorado, is it good? No, it's not good. None of them is good. Though. Both. So do you intend to stop? Um, with the weed in Colorado. Are you ready to yes, stop? Yes, I'm it? ready to stop if I see good job. 
good job. I know I'm going to sleep. I don't have where I'm sleeping now. If a rehabilitation center was to reach out to us now and say, you know what, we want to help him, we want to take him in, would you be willing Why to not? follow them? Why in? not? Willingly. Willingly. Willingly from the bottom of my heart, I will. I want to get back to my position. I don't want people to be running away from me because they are looking at me as if something is wrong with me. I'm not fine. That is the cooking that is disturbing me. But then they are looking at me as if I'm um, crazy. Yeah. But me, I know myself that God can see me. At times they will see me, they will be running away from me. That, that guy is going to be smiling, looking at them. They will be making jest of me. Even people that have dashed money, a lot of money, that have dashed free money. They will call video call her for more money. She will see her 30, or so 20. They will not see me. They will not know me from me. I will smile. But in my mind, I'm telling my mind, I'm praying that you and you can. Emma Padawa, you will come back. You see Emma Padawa. I think we have a call. We have a caller. Let's take this call. Hello. Hi, Joyin. Hi, good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you so much. I have enjoyed your season this year. Thank you. Okay, so I just have a question for the guy in the studio. Okay. Sir, I don't know if you can hear me, but waiting this drug addiction don't make you do. Say, a person tell you four years ago, say you go do him. You go beat your chest, say lie, 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 no be me if you do him. Hmm. Do you understand the question? Sorry. You can take your time, too. Oh, I'm so sorry. The person knows me. I'm so sorry. The person knows me. The person knows you? This person that called? I swear. You can take your time. Just take your time to answer. I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Thank you. Do you think you could answer the question or is this something you don't want to talk about? I don't want to talk about you don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it. And we respect uh, that. It's okay. Do you need uh, a minute? You know what? We're going to go on a quick break. Our guest is a little bit emotional right now. We're going to go on a quick break, but we'll be back shortly. Welcome back, guys. We're still on the topic of the reality of drug addiction. While we were speaking, we had a caller that asked the question, but... Our guest has refused to answer that question and we will respect his privacy. So we won't be answering that question, unfortunately. But more money. Sorry, I keep missing Mr. Money. More, more money, money, more money. More okay, money. so more money. Um, first of all, I want us to talk about the stigmatization that you faced in this Nigeria. Like, okay, when people here say, ah, what more money, they do drugs, or more money, they, how do they treat you? What's the... What's the treatment that you get from people uh, in general? Generally, they treat me bad when they hear that I'm smoking. But my friend that we are closer together, they were just like, ah, no, they can't leave me. Something bad will happen to me. As I, four months ago, four, three months ago, when I stopped, before I stopped, police caught me now when I was smoking Colorado. They caught me and I don't want to take me, but if I don't mind, ask them. He asked me that I know I feel it. I might be like, it's said to them 5,000 yeah. mm. just for them to free because you know I do not have the money. That I'm not the type that they can just carry a plead that I know more money. I just, he gave them 5k and they freed me. Also, I wanted to ask where do people buy? Because oh, we have another call, so let's take this call. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Yes, we can. Oh, 
Uh, unfortunately, we lost that call. Mr. Shea, you can call us back. We're very happy to take your call. Shea. Okay, so you mentioned how they've treated you, right? What support do you think that the society in general can give to people that are dealing with this drug addiction? Because I feel like, you know, most people are very judgmental. When they say somebody didn't drug, they say, ah, that one is irresponsible. That one is just, that one, you know. And just like you said, most people that use these drugs come from very good homes. Good home. Some people have, look at you, you're a multi-millionaire. Like somebody that has nine point something million in their account. Even more than. Even more than that. You said before that you would have bought three cars. Even more than. Or more than three cars or three houses Even if it wasn't than. for this drug. Yes. So obviously it is not like this only happens to people that are very poor. Or no. People that are, yeah. So what support would you say that you wish that the society could give to people dealing with drug addiction? The support I would like to tell the society now is just that. If somebody was to support you, like when you were really, really heavy into it before you stopped, what support would you have liked for somebody to give to you or the people that are doing this thing? I would ask them not to even sell this type of thing in the street or area at all. Is it really possible to eradicate selling coke in Nigeria, like completely? Is it possible? I don't no, think that that's not possible. No, it's not possible. It's not possible, but there are some people that know where they used to get it. Hmm. Mm. So you feel it's like if they can put a stop, if they can stop the selling, like stop the circulation of the drug, it will help people. That's what you know. We have another caller. Hello, good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Okay. So okay. Thank you. Uh, I just want to ask my brother a question. Okay. So the question is, uh, people where they smoke, uh, people where they take food, say you think say na better thing, maybe they do them every time, every time. No be, no be better Thank you. Thank you for the question. You say, Shay, because you were talking about, that's mm, almost mm. very similar to the question I asked before. Mm, yes. You know, a lot of people make it seem like as if, oh, weed is not that bad, it's just weed or cigarettes. But there's no, there's no type of drug that anybody cannot get addicted to. Do you get? Maybe cocaine is terrible because, you know, it can cost you a lot of money. But would you say that they need to stop smoking weed too? Do you think that the continuous use of like maybe weed or cigarettes can affect somebody? No. Or do you think that that's okay? That is okay. I don't think that that's okay, actually. Yeah, so you think weed, that's okay? Yes, uh, weed, cigarettes is still manageable of smoking. But you see the other one, no, don't go there. That one will ruin your career now. One way or the other, if you taste it, it will ruin your career. But you see weed, Arizona... Loud, all those ones, you can still. If someone should hear that you are smoking all those kind of things, I still hear it, but damn, mm. that's one. That one is worse okay. to worse. That. Sorry, we have another caller. Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, ma. Hello, good evening. Hello, we can hear you. You can ask your question. Hello, good evening. Good evening, oh, we can hear you. Sorry, we lost that call. Okay. I was going to ask my final question, actually. If you could, like you said, you have a son. I assume that your son is the most important person in your life right now. If you could sit with your son and give him one advice in life, what advice would you give him? I would give him advice that is going to as you know me I've which particular advice what would you say to if you could tell him one thing that is a mistake that maybe you've made and you don't want him to make that mistake uh, yes, what is the advice that you you should give? not even try to put anything like smoke in his mouth exactly anything like smoke you should not even try it. anything smoking anything smoking whether it's cigarettes, Cigarette. whether it's weed. No, no, no. no anything coke. smoking. Anything smoking. Don't even try it. Because from there, you involve to another. If you start from cigarettes, you enter Arizona. Exactly. If you enter Arizona, you enter loud. If you enter loud from great bag. So even, don't even try it at all. At mm. all. And if there's anybody 
currently watching us that is going through drug addiction because there are a lot of people that are dealing with it but you know because of the stigma they are very shy to come out what would you say to them how would you advise them or anybody that feels like ah i want to leave because a lot of people like a lot of young people say me i'm tired of this my house i want to leave my house i want to go to the streets I want to be on my own. You know that youthful rebellion behavior, rebellious behavior. So how would you advise somebody dealing with drug addiction and somebody that wants to leave their family to go to the streets to figure life out for themselves? Before you leave your family, I would advise such family not to allow the Personally. son to leave. Because if you are trying to save money on your own or yourself, because me, you know, I've been spending money on my own or myself. I have my own money. No, I'm not after my mommy or my daddy. I've been spending money when I've, I've been using jewelry's gold, 750, when I was in secondary school, a meeting low, 750. I've been buying per gram, 3,000 to 5. Man, they're still selling. Yeah, but they're not I hear different kind of language. I hear outside, I hear Ghana, I hear energy. Mm. She understands. So I know about everything. Okay, so if you were to advise somebody that you say you would tell the family not to let them go, not to let them go. Mm. But what would you tell to say to the person themselves? Because some people, their family will tell them you are not going anywhere. Their family will try. There are a lot of people that their family will try to maybe. Uh, if you want to go to the street, you go then you will come back. There is no if you enter the street, eh, you your come eyes back. will see <laughs> hell. Then you will come back home. Okay, we have another caller. Hello, good evening. Okay, we lost that. Okay. All right, so final advice for somebody that is currently dealing with drug addiction. Currently dealing, somebody that is using cocaine that or more, or maybe is weed, or maybe is zero, you know, whatever it is, and they are currently trying to get out of it, they are dealing with it. What advice would you give to them? They will stay far away from there, from where they used to sell the... Mm. Very far, they'll stay far away from there because if you are seeing it around you, when you have the money, you go and get it. Even if you don't have the money, so if you, you look for it, you way look to for find one way or the other. Maybe you want to go and sell your property, or one way or the other, you want to get it because if someone is smoking it at your side and you are saying you beg, it did not give you, you beg him, it did not give you, you go and look for money. And that is what will make some people to go and steal mm. someone's thing that they will cut them. Mm. That's what. Stealing, that's what brings stealing, when you don't have money. And your friend is smoking, you want to smoke with him too. And you ask him, he did not give you. You look for what you go and steal and sell and come and buy your own. Right. Okay, so we've had a very lengthy discussion from More Money concerning drug addiction. I hope that anybody watching us right now has learned one thing or the other from this conversation. I think we have one more call. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello, we can hear you. Good evening. I think we have one more call, or can we wrap up? So if you've watched this episode and you've learned one thing or the other, I hope that the first, for me, I think the most important lesson to take out of this is this can happen to anybody. 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 It doesn't matter what status anybody. you currently anybody. have. It just takes you making, anybody. either moving with the wrong people, associating with the wrong group, or making terrible life choices to get to this position. Any amount of money can finish, just like you've heard. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It's just, it's just a matter of time before you run through that. And if you're already dealing with that, there's no shame, there's no judgment. I hope that you can find help. I hope that you can talk to somebody. There's so many rehabilitation centers that, you know, are willing to take people in. There's some non-governmental organizations that even do it for free. So if you're worried about the cost, whatever, just feel free to reach out to non-governmental organizations that can help, and hopefully you get some help. I hope that you take it easy with yourself. I understand that this might come with a lot of shame, and, you know, take it easy with yourself. Give yourself some time to heal. Don't be too critical on yourself and 
There is no story that cannot be turned around. It just takes you being determined enough to turn your life around. Yes. Like more money, he is determined now to turn his life around. Yes. And he's going to turn his life. Like you said, you are ready to go to rehab. Right? Yes, I'm ready. ready. Yes, yes, I'm and he's ready. ready to get a job. He's ready to turn his life around. So at the end of the day, it just takes that one decision within yourself to say, I'm, re- I'm tired of this life and I'm ready for a change. So I hope that you come to that point in your life. And till then... I wish you all the best. Thank you. So we'll be here same time next week, Pop Central. Don't miss it. But for tonight, we say a very big good night. Bye, guys. (laughs) 